Hello, this is Lisa Shea. I am the low carb editor for BellaOnline.com, and this review is for the Cui Essential Digital Nutrition Kitchen Scale. This is an advanced form of scale that actually tells you the nutritional information of items that you put onto it along with its weight. So here's what the scale looks like, and I apologize in some cases the camera doesn't quite focus on the light, but I do manage to get most of it in focus eventually. So let's start with the normal scale functions. You put something on it, it sees what the value is, it shows you the scale value. And it can do that in ounces or grams, 0.05 ounces and one gram increments. So it's a lemon, it's a mango, and the scale is quick and easy. And despite my camera's issues, you can actually see the numbers very well when you're looking at it. So you don't have any issues at all. So now let's say that you want to put something in a bowl. So you put the bowl or plate or whatever else onto the scale. You hit the zero button and it zeroes it out. So now the bowl is invisible in essence. And now you toss whatever you want to inside the bowl. In this case, we're putting strawberries. And the scale only tells you the weight of the items inside the bowl. So this is a great useful way to measure things that you need to have in a container of some sort. So we'll take these out. You see the zero is back again, so it thinks the bowl is invisible, or I suppose weightless is the more correct analogy. Now let's look at the nutrition kind of stuff it can do. You have this reference book that tells you what the code for each type of item is, and so let's look up banana. So we know what the code for banana is. We go over here and we type it in with the keypad. It's going to take me a few times because I'm trying to hold the camera too. Usually it's very easy to type the numbers in. So you eventually get the number of the food item that you want to deal with into the unit and it shows that in the top left corner. And I know I'm having trouble focusing. There we go. 338 is the code for banana. And then we put a banana on. It tells us the weight of the banana, but we have all these cool other buttons. So we can see the salt value in the banana. The symbol is the protein value in the banana. The teardrop shape is the fat value in the banana. The sheaf of wheat is the carb value. Then we've got cholesterol, we've got the fiber value, and then we've got the weight value again. So it's very easy to see all the details. Um, sometimes you can use online websites to give you this sort of information, but it's much easier just to drop something on there. And over time you get to know what your favorite vegetables and fruits code numbers are. So it's easy, you don't have to go looking them up. So here we're going to try strawberries. So once again, we type in the code, three digit code number for strawberries. It shows that in the top left. I'll note the top right shows you the temperature in Celsius. And even though the unit says it can do it in Fahrenheit, it only does Celsius. So you can learn Celsius temperature while you're at it. So here we're going to zero out the bowl again. So that the bowl is not registering as a weight. It'll zero in a second, there it goes. And now we will add the strawberries in. So it's only counting the weight of the strawberries. And because we gave it the code number for the strawberries, it knows what their relative percentages are. So now if we sit here and push the calorie button, we see the calorie value, see the salt value, see the protein value, the fat value, the carb value, the cholesterol value, the fiber value, and then we're back to weight. And this also has a memory function. Um, I'm not going to show that because I don't want to make this too long, but you can add things into memory. So if you're assembling a recipe, you can measure one set and put it in memory and then the next set and put it into memory. And then that way it can add everything up for you as a total and you don't have to do that yourself. So zero this back out again. And just to show, now it's back to just being zeroed and you can see the regular weight of stuff. So it's very easy to hop between different things. If I have a complaint, it's that some things have skin and some things don't have skin in the chart. So for example, the banana only has a non-peeled value, but the lemon only has a skinless value and the orange only has a skinless and a seedless value. So sometimes you have to compromise with what you're measuring and figuring it out. I was just showing you that it takes three AAA batteries, has a two minute auto off, and it takes up to 11 pounds, and it's about $23 on Amazon. So it's a good, useful scale.
fairly inexpensive. Visit lowcarb.bellaonline.com for more reviews and information. And thank you.